I could look perfectly fine from the outside, but inside I could be really hurting. And despite the challenges of a recent diagnosis, this college athlete is pushing forward and sharing her personal story tonight. About one and a half million Americans, five million people worldwide, have a disease called lupus. 90% of them are women. It's an autoimmune disease in which the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissue, and it can be really serious. 11 News medical reporter Mindy Becerra is joining us now, and this is really personal for you, Mindy. Yes, it is, because you remember that in September of 2021, I shared that I was diagnosed with lupus, one of the millions across the globe yeah. fighting this disease. And we call ourselves lupus warriors. I had the pleasure of meeting two women who could not embody that spirit more perfectly. Are you ready? Madeline Walt is no stranger to pushing her body to the limit. She is a division two long distance swimmer who was fighting to overcome a challenge she never expected. The key thing for me was to focus on the goals that I have for myself and still achieve those goals no matter what. Madeline started having odd symptoms her senior year of high school. The rash occurred and the fatigue and then I started to have joint pain. Madeline was diagnosed with lupus, an autoimmune disease she had never heard of, just two weeks before beginning her swimming career at St. Michael's College in Vermont. I didn't want it to hold me back and so I made that known to my family and I made it known to my coaches that although it was gonna be a challenge, I wanted to push past it. The fact that she's willing to push through it isn't super surprising as I've gotten to know her as well as I have, um, but that being said, not everybody could do that. Not everybody could, could do what she does. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Madeline is under the care of Johns Hopkins rheumatologist, Dr. Homa Timlin. She happens to be my doctor too. Dr. Timlin is a leading expert on lupus. It can affect any part of the body, including joints, skin, blood, brain, lungs, heart, and kidneys. Dr. Timlin says symptoms include stiffness in the hands, ulcers in the mouth, clumps of hair falling out, rashes, and chest pain due to inflammation in the lungs and heart. We got this. We're going to do it. Another of Dr. Timlin's patients is Keisha Johnson. She presents an image as vibrant and stunning as her red dress. But for lupus warriors, we don't look like how we feel. Keisha was diagnosed with lupus December of 2022. Black women are three times as likely to develop lupus than white women. My hands and feet were swollen. I had achy joints in my wrist and my ankles, my hands. I could barely hold a toothbrush. My hair had fallen out. She even had a pulmonary embolism. She is now on the proper medications, but not before she suffered organ damage. The lupus started to inflame my kidneys. It's called lupus nephritis, a potentially devastating condition many lupus patients will have to battle. 60% of lupus patients have lupus nephritis during their disease. And about 10 to 20% will develop end-stage renal disease within 10 years. Dr. Timlin says recognizing damage to the kidneys early on is vital, and it's usually done with a biopsy. She's excited about a new non-invasive way to track renal activity. From June this year, we will be starting our study on MRI of the kidneys. This is non-invasive, without contrast, looking at both kidneys to identify early inflammation, scarring, and even assess the response to the treatment. She calls it a game changer. Nice to see you. Dr. Timlin stresses to her patients the importance of taking medications regularly, avoiding flare triggers like ultraviolet light and smoking. But most of all, avoiding stress is crucial. For Keisha, that means listening to her body and learning how to say no, but she will not allow her disease to define her. But after a while, it's like, wait a minute, I have lupus. Lupus doesn't have me, so I am going to live my life. I'm going to continue to travel and do the things that I enjoy. Has it slowed me down? Of course it has. Meanwhile, Madeline fights her disease one stroke at a time and says lupus has actually given her a gift, a new mission in life. I want to keep advocating, not just for myself, but for other people with autoimmune diseases and lupus. Um, I want to raise, raise awareness for it because it's not something that people know about. 
so I want to use it in a positive light for not just myself but others. And by the way, not only did Madeline have a very successful swimming season, she also made the Dean's List wow. despite a hospitalization. Just an amazing young woman. And a piece of information that Dr. Timlin shared stunned me. She says 40 years ago, mm -hmm. there were not a lot of lupus patients over the age of 45 wow. because they just did not live that long. But now if lupus patients take care of themselves, they can live, you know, a regular lifespan. And that's thanks to a significant improvement in the medications, the diagnosis, and the research, but there's still a lot we don't know about this mysterious disease. Yeah. yeah. And like that one interview, you would never know if you're nope. aching or feeling right. bad in a day. Yeah. It just doesn't present. Right. Nope. Wow. That's true. Courageous women, including yeah. yourself, yeah. buddy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>